Hi, hope everyone's having a good day. This is our sixth video, and this is the farm tour. I hope you enjoy it. This is the garage. We don't actually store vehicles in here. The only really thing we do store, the only vehicles we really do store in here is the lawnmower, my dirt bike, and every once in a while, Dad will bring like his car or mom's van in here just to fix it up a little bit. That's Dad's workbench where he keeps all of his tools. Sometimes he keeps them over there. This is his, what he calls a wel his welding bench because he welds a lot on it. And, gr and he really just done, he really just works here. He most, he's in here a lot, fi making and fixing stuff. He used to not be in here a lot, but now he's in here a lot. <laughs> so yeah, really, this is just our storage area where we keep our working tools. Hey, Daddy. This is our hay wagon. We have a bunch of junk on it right now. There's some burning wood. We haven't been able to get it over to the boiler yet. The boiler, we call. It's actually in just an outside stove, a giant outside stove. But we, but we call it a boiler. There's a big wire tote that Dad hasn't gotten out of there yet. Sorry, sorry, it's kind of wobbly. There's a lot of bumps right here. That's the new fence they put up a couple months ago. The goats are out. It's kind of hard to see. You can. There's Fern. The girl Fern. And there's Hazel. Girl Hazel. These are the most mainly used gates. We bring the tractor and stuff in here. Um, we put the goats through there. Yeah, we use that a lot. This is the big barn where most of the videos are taken. And there is the well house where we get all of our water in the barn from. That's dad's car and that's mom's van. That's, I don't know if you can see it very well, that's a manure, that's a manure spreader, but dad bought a couple of years ago, he bought that, um, but it didn't really work, so he just took it apart and turned it into, into a trailer, he uses it to bring firewood back. We also have the nursery. We also have the nursery. It's pretty big. We have a little door right there that we bring the milk in. Dad back. Dad opens that, backs the truck right up to it, and then we unload the milk. Attached to, to the garage, that's a parked lawnmower we got a couple days ago. This is our toy garage, where we keep all of our like bikes and outdoor toys. Dad keeps his fuel in here. Fuel tank. Can't see it. There. That's where it's trapped. It's kinda messy. We got like a bunch of farm toys over there. We got a couple of random stuff. And in, in that gray thing over there, it's really just a couple of toy fire trucks and like baseball stuff. It's a little bit messy. This is really just a bunch of bikes and a sled. This, that's really just where we keep all our stuff. We don't really play with this toy house anymore, but sometimes, every once in a while, we do. Yeah, behind this door is really just where we keep all of our horse stuff. That's our trailer that we hook up to the lawnmower and to like bring stuff. That was the one from the last video that I couldn't really, that I was driving around.
around with. This is one of the calf hutches. We used to have one of the calves in there. And these are just a couple of pieces of farm equipment. Haven't moved in a little while. And that's in... Dad built that so that you could put goats on his flatbed. That's another tool. I don't know what that, that, or that's called, but I know that they're a piece of farm equipment. This is where our new calves go. They're not out here right now, but they will be in a couple minutes. This is our manure spreader. Dad got a couple weeks ago. We used to store chickens and goats in here just for a little bit, but now we just use it as decoration, really. This was an old sled that Dad used to play with. This is really just where we store all the wood and homemade stuff, really. Behind that door is really just a pen. This is that was tires are to keep it shut. Behind, behind this door is where all the babies is that pen where like all the mums and babies go. Yeah. If and if we open the door, the baby pen would be wide open. Basically, there's just a little crack that only the babies can fit through to go through this door to eat. Yeah, they have their own special food in a feeder on their side. We have this big open space to play in sometimes when it's hay season, it's off limits. That's the, this is the hay field. There's also a soybean field over there. We have a lot of fields around us. There, there is a camping trailer and a hay wagon. What? <laughs> I know. Um, the, the back of the house is over there. A couple of trees along the fence line. Sometimes we go through there instead of going all the way around. This is behind the garage, the toy shed, and where we store all the horse stuff. It's so not really this, much, but... This is behind the garage, and then this is like our toy shed. And then over there is... Where we keep all the horse So stuff. the door would be about here, and to the toy shed to the um, horse area and then it goes all the way over there in the room. The big open space for the toy garage is like right here and then that's really the size of it. And then this big wooden space is the whole garage. There's the gardening place right there. We keep all of our gardening tools right there. This is also, we also keep a lot of junk back here, like a broken slide, a toy um, wagon thing that we don't use anymore, a bunch of sticks again, broken ladders. This is where we put the calves when it's like rainy or bad weather, and that night. It's just a little pen for them. You can hear them in there. Yeah. Tractor. Right beside it. Usually dad's truck is up in the driveway, but he has but he has corn or something, fertilizer on the back of his truck, so he put it in there so it wouldn't get wet overnight. Behind the truck is really just a bunch of, we really just keep our straw back there. Can't really see much though. This is behind the baler. We got a little bit of junk over here. We keep our hay up here, and then our bedding, you can see. And 
yeah, behind the store is the nursery. Behind that gate we used to keep chickens, but now we just put all of the manure back there. And this is where we keep all the milk and some tools. The bench is right there. Sorry for not getting a very good view, I can't really go in. The goats are in that pen. We have another pen over there where we keep them. And then the milking pen is in there. There's the cat. <laughs> this is one of the biggest pens we have. Sort of, at least. <laughs> we used to use it to store some goats in here, but not much anymore. Now it's really just for show, again. Up there, there used to be a hayloft. Now the cats just hide up there and there's some wood. This is the calves. Oh no. Yeah. I think they're hungry. Okay, it's time to go. Saw them try to run out. So they're right there. <laughs> oh, um, sorry. I forgot to tell you this before. Sorry, I couldn't actually show you, like, in the nursery. I Sorry, I couldn't walk around, but I don't have the right boots on. I have to have a certain pair of boots to go in there, and I have my, my big barn boots where most of the videos are taken. Sorry about that. This is the main pen of the big bar where we keep the outside goats and some of the pregnant goats. Over there, we don't really use... Over there... I'll go over there. In here, we don't really use much. We really just keep these three in there for some reason. I don't know why though. There's the hayloft. We used the ladder to get up there. There's the light switches. You can't really see right there. This we used to store goats in, but now we don't anymore. It's just really just a storage unit. We, there's some old hay. There's a here's a pen. One of the pens. Um, and then really the, just this is just a big open floor with one pole in it and then a broken ground right there. This is the baby pen, as you know, and that's that door at the back. There is this gate blocking it, but if it was opened, yeah. Ow. There's the creek gate thing, and then there's right. where all the moms and babies yeah. are. There's the mom and baby's water. There's where the babies um, um, get their um, food um, from baby. these feeders. <laughs> There's a baby in there right now. <laughs> like just a big open space with a random goat in it. This is where we keep all the goats before they get milked. We bring them in through that door so that from the back pen. But sometimes we also load them from in there and bring them down the stairs. This is the kidding room, like pretty much every video you've seen. This is the parlor, and that's the little door that we opened last time. There's a little hole in there that, the, that they like to peek their head through. In here is where we keep them, is where we keep the moms and babies when they get old enough. And they're too young. Yeah. I got the milk of God. Over there is, yeah, I where we keep the them. Where we keep all of our corn barley. Corn barley. Um, then this is the minerals. Baking soda and then just mineral. Um, this is where we keep all of our working stuff. Broom pitchfork, shovel, and another pitchfork, and then Dad keeps his pins over there. This is the big feeder he built, and then he has another water trough in here. 
They share it back and they share it back and forth. Some of the goats can go through that crack over to the other side. But yeah. It's kind of funny. Oh, why are you in here, little one? Why are you in here? <laughs> Wondering how we get the water from the well house to the barn. It it is yes. We could just carry the buckets over, but we also um, use a hose. We switch it between there and there. That's the back part, and that's the front part. Every once in a while, there's a little leak. But most of all, it just goes through the hose up there. We fill the buckets from the water, um, from the main water place. And there's Doc. We used to have a fence up there, but we took it down when we got this one. This fence is 13 acres big. It's crazy. Goodbye everyone. I hope you had a I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a good day again. Um I was gonna do the whole place, but that would take like two hours, so <laughs> um yeah. Bye. See you on the seventh video.